Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna tell this guy good luck. Good God. Wow. Holy crap. I gave him my wishes. The wishes of the obese survivor. So, um, I actually played this before they did the, uh, the zombie, uh, like, population update, and, uh, I will tell you, I did think it was better, because, uh, the amount of zombies right now, and the fact that they, uh, I don't know if they're aggroing to me right now or not, uh, it's actually unknown, I, well, of course it's unknown, I don't know, but, um, the amount of zombies in this game is just insane. Um, I'm honestly uh, starting to actually rethink this game. I kind of don't want to play because of the zombie coming out. Hopefully that guy doesn't come over here because I don't want. I just don't want to deal with him. So I uh, just want to assure him I won't kill him, uh, cause uh, shit's pretty gay. Okay. I'm running out of ammo. And I'm not going to help him. I'm just going to be honest with you guys right now. I'm not going to help him. Because uh, I'm actually in a little bit of a predicament myself. If you just heard. I can't help him. I have no ammo. I'm, uh, I'm actually running out of ammo for my MP5. I waste. I went through like 20 rounds of my uh, 5.7 pretty quick, and I literally found that last time I played. So uh, I'm actually r running through my ammo quickly, quicker than I probably should be. But, uh, I'm gonna take that. I'm actually gonna. Come down here. I think somebody actually just walked past. No. So, uh, take him out real quick. Because uh, after I'm done with this, uh, this MP5, I'm. Just, uh, just ran out of ammo stuff. Drop this vaccine. I'm actually going to drop the vaccine because there's actually no use for it yet. So, and there is an actual use for binoculars. Follow me. 
They followed me way too easily. So this is actually one of the easiest ways to uh, avoid getting bitten by a zombie. Is uh, to actually just run away. And while you're running away, you're uh, just uh, hit the first zombie in line. gonna run away from this fight um, it's not worth losing my mp5 and my 57 even if they are out of ammo I can bank them later so uh and I got a barbed wire fencing kit which I am I'm banking uh, stuff like that so eat all this real quick Um, I don't know what that flashing means. I don't know if it means I'm bleeding or uh, anything like that. But I'm actually thinking about going up here to the weather station because I've never been there and uh, Um, but I have noticed actually with the uh, with oh that didn't do anything it was a waste of food um, I have noticed that th people are friendlier now. and I don't know if that's because uh, like we're sensing an update coming where uh, being friendly actually gives you something like uh, healing up of teammate gives you like a mass amount of experience or uh, something like that but uh, if you right now it's like um, usually there'd be like four or five bandits and there's only two and I'm, yeah, I'm guaranteeing they're working together or something um, and uh, so that's just about it I uh, got my ass kicked out of the um, one place, and I'm now running. I yeah, NORAD got my ass kicked, and I'm running away from it now. The zombies are uh, are much much more of a danger now. Um, I do think there needs to be some scripting issues when it comes to uh, detection because detection seems a little bit unreal. Uh, at the moment, um, as in Daisy, uh, every zombie has its own set of eyes and ears, so, um, you know, it's an actual thing. As in here, I believe, it's sort of like the old, uh, the old NPCs of, uh, video games where they kind of just know where you are, and then once you kind of pass a certain threshold, that's when they'll attack, so... Uh, we're in Daisy. It's actually completely. Uh, if they don't see you or if they don't hear you, they're not going to attack. You know, they're not going to get aggroed in any way, shape, or form. Where I think this is uh, like a certain script, where um, you know, if you get within this distance and you know, with you, if you get within this distance and your visual uh, detection is at this, then you will be detected and stuff like that or uh, you know if you're within this I don't think there's a uh, like a vi vision cone uh, per se like a Metal Gear Solid vision cone um, where enemies you know can see you or can't see you line of sight there we go uh, I think it's just a 360 degree as of right now but um, this game offer does offer uh, more more scary zombies which uh, I'm actually kind of glad that they did that, is that zombies are actually uh, more of a threat. Um, 
which puts emphasis on uh, co-op. So you need, so if you really want to survive, you have to co-op with your, uh, you know, the, the guy on the street or you know something like that, because uh, or else you you won't survive very long. Um, because. Um, Oh, uh, you know, the, the Walking Dead mo motto, uh, fight the dead, fear the living, um, I hope this game becomes fear the dead and fight the living, where, uh, fights between players becomes less and less and less, and where you actually have to sort of, uh, play Metal Gear Solid pretty much on this game and stealth around, you know, just trying to avoid zombies, especially with the new mutant zombie, uh, which they announced uh, with an actual, like it was a surprise announcement. It was like a, uh, it was a, a player had killed him and they rewarded him uh, for being the first one to kill uh, a mutant zombie. But um, I'm still skeptical of the whole mutant zombie thing because I have not been able to see a screenshot of it. I've been googling it. I've uh, been looking uh, across a couple forums that have. Uh, have War Z sections and I couldn't I can't find a uh, I can't find a special infected screenshot so if you if you watch this video you like uh, you find any special infected or anything um, that would be nice cuz uh, I would love to be able to see a special infected, see what they look like, see what their animations look like, uh, anything like that, so, um, I'm getting closer to the weather station, I can see it between trees now, and, uh, speaking of trees, I kinda don't like these trees in this game, and I, it's actually just because my graphics are really low, um, I'm actually gonna bump them up real quick, ultra, ultra, apply, I might have broke my game. Nope. Yeah, trees look about the same. Yeah, uh, yeah, trees look about the same. It's just they added in a bunch of aesthetic stuff. Like, uh, grass wave and wind and stuff. But I will, oh no, grass does wave. I will admit this game is a it's it's not a beautiful beautiful game it's not a Far Cry 3 graphics beautiful it, but this game can look pretty uh, it when it wants it can put on its makeup and go out for the night and get a couple hot guys but uh, it's not it's not no Far Cry 3 pretty or you know Battlefield 3 pretty or whatever whatever is the prettiest game now I don't I don't know but I do feel that it is poorly optimized um, it's it's far beyond poorly optimized because uh, you should with my uh, horrible computer I should be able to run it on ultra um, if I can run Battlefield 3 on high and it runs fine I think uh, this game should be able to run on ultra so or or not, I mean, uh, Battlefield 3 does have a very limited amount of resources uh, needed, you know, because the maps are, well, a lot smaller, and, uh, you know, the the game doesn't, oh, well, it's another thing they need to fix, just zombies glitching, but they have, they have got better, they've gotten better, I'm not, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to put a whole lot of blame on them, because, uh, you know they're trying. They they are releasing state, you know steady updates to uh, a game where they feel that they're doing. I feel that they are doing really good. So. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! I missed a hit. I missed a fucking hit. Well, guys, if you find my shit, you can keep it. All right. You can fucking keep it, because I'm starting a new character. Jesus H. fucking Christ.